Hello and welcome to this SQL tutorial with me, James from Mathdoor Software. And today we're going to be looking at importing a CSV file into SQL using some Transact SQL or Microsoft's T-SQL code um, for flexibility, speed, and uh, generally ease of use. So I have a CSV here, just columns, ID, customer, city, and whether they're active, it would be potentially a, a smaller condensed version of a standard customer dimension. So essentially the ID um, will need to create a table schema to reflect this. So the ID will be an integer, customer and city could be varchar or nvarchar. Um, and the active flag, which is a bit data type, will just zero suggesting false and one suggesting true that the customer is indeed active. Now, there will be one um, point here where you will need to copy the path to your file. Um, the way to do that is just to press shift and right click, and that gives you the options to copy as path. Now, you can actually go into the Microsoft Learn documentation to look into bulk insert. And essentially, there are three phases here. So the first one would be that we can break this down into the table name, um, the path to the file where it stems from, and width is the options that you can apply. Some of these may be the first row where the data actually starts out with the columns. Um, you have things like batch sizes if you want to um, load this in in increments so that as it says here, it commits or rolls back um, by every batch. Handy if you're using larger uh, larger data. So that's basically it on the documentation side. I'm gonna show you how we could practically use this um, to import a sample file. So we can just specify the target database. So practice as standard, you'll see that change in the GUI. Um, and from SQL Server 2016 and up, you can use drop table if exists just to ensure that if we do have anything there, we start from a from a clean slate. Now we'll need to create this table schema. So in our case, we'll call this customers just to match the uh, the CSV. And we'll want, uh, we'll want to reflect the columns that we have. So ID will be an integer data type and a primary key, of course, if we're using keys and indexing, ID um, as an integer would be pretty performant. Um, customer and city, like I said, Varkar, uh, this could be um, nvarkar, um, using T sequels proprietary uh, data type there, so it's just universal. And the active can just be a bit um, where we just have zero, we'd essentially evaluate to, to false and one to true. So we have here um, our bulk insert statement now. And like we said, we need to specify the name of the table, and um, we need to specify the file path. Uh, so we can copy that path like I displayed earlier on. It will come in as uh, double quotes. You need to specify single quotes and close down the file. So we had it open in Excel. It won't work if it's open and being used by another program. Um, I've put the relevant things here for what we're doing, essentially the relevant options. First row, our data starts after the columns from row, tr row two in our file. Uh, we need a field terminator, uh, comma separated, we need a row terminator, so uh, we can use this to demonstrate that new row is in fact that row terminator. And I don't want to allow any errors. This can be um, specified by an integer value. I don't want any, but some people may let some pass for, for data types and things. As you can see, we had five records updated. And when we actually query this very simply uh, and efficiently, we have our data in with just a small portion of T-SQL code and you can see how you can add options to make this flexible. As usual, if you like the content, like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.